It's Tasha and I've been asked with about so many clients, usually when I visit their salons, is um, you know, how to upsell and how to really get sales driven in your salon. And I think from a salon experience, you know, me having my own business had my own business for a couple of years, I think probably your first and most important step always in a salon as a hairstylist is your consultation process. As soon as you start with your consultation process, this is where you start selling your retail. This is when you start selling your color. This is when you start selling, upselling um, on treatments and what your clients need. So a thorough consultation for me is probably one like 101 on sales, on how to drive sales in your salon. It is a must have. I think at the end of the day, if you can have a system or a consultation form where you force your set your your stylist to follow each and every step that is on that consultation form that would be your 101 in sales probably one of the greatest opportunity to generate some more sales in your salon is upselling upselling is one of the most important things and if you can teach this to your staff i think you've got a head up so I think if you can initiate a program or have a system in place, um, I've had a couple of ideas when I still had my salon, where we either had, either you get driven by an extra little bonus at the end of the month, or you get driven by an half a day off, or even retail products for themselves. So get your team on board. I think that would also help um, tremendously with your sales in your salon. So the biggest thing for me is equip your staff. Um, you need to train your staff on how to do this. Remember, when you're sitting in a consultation, it's a one-on-one -on -one thing. You're alone with your client. There's nothing going on. It's not busy. So they're actually really listening to you and focusing you and focusing on you. And if it's a client that's been with you for a while, I promise you they trust you and they, they'll, they'll listen to what you say and understand what you're saying. And remember, most, most clients, guys, I've realized that they're scared of asking questions. So you need to guide them in the right direction and help them so that they know what they need. Lastly, one vital thing that also you can in, uh, bring in in your consultation, which really worked for me, is actually putting the products right in front of your clients, showing them what you are using on her hair, on his hair. Um, and when you do take your client through to the back bar, back station, obviously introduce your client to your operator, but explain to the operator and the client what you are using on the hair, why you would be using it on the hair, and what benefits this will have on the client and train your operator and explaining this to your client so that the client have that full experience of the smell um, even the, the the technique of massaging you know that's all of those senses do sell a product and when you do start taking your client through to your workstation this is where you'll start focusing on your retail products so still remember the shampoo and conditioner will be standing there but now you're going to utilize your retail products and what i love doing usually is actually let them use it themselves so if i'm going to try and sell a mousse to her or a a serum I actually put the product in her own hands so that she can use it and utilize it and feel the absolute difference in that client's hair. And this is a great way of um, upselling and selling some good retail shampoos and conditioners in your salon. As a salon owner, we all know that our stylists usually have the go-to products. You know, there's always a big shelf full of so many products and only some of them move. So this is where we come in as educators, as your distributor, as your supplier to book us in and educate your staff on the other products, make them feel confident on the products that they're using. And with that, this they won't just have the go-to products, but they'll feel comfortable and really feel, feel confident cross board on the products that they that you do offer in your salon and in that way you can up your 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 skills of your stylist and at the end of the day get your products moving so these things are it's, it's small things but it's small things that you can change in your salon which would make a big difference so start up selling last one i promise let's talk about cross selling so when we've done this consultation on your client and or you know your client and you know that she's a a good supporter and only buys a mousse 
so on this this is when you've got the opportunity when you're doing your client to start using other products as well so that at the end of the day you can tell her you see the mousse did give you the volume and she's gonna go yes but i love the absolute shine and the texture that's coming through then you explain to her that you've used two other products as well. So now she's not just going to buy your mousse, but you're cross-selling and going to sell her that wax and that serum that you're using on that hair. So happy selling! Guys, if you think about it, if you love your job and you love hairdressing and you're passionate about this game, um, we actually sell a solution so when you've got a client that's got very straight hair and or and wants curls or has got very curly hair and what wants straight hair at the end of the day we are selling them a solution we are helping them and they're benefiting out of a product or out of us out of our guidance and out of our expertise so not only are we selling them a solution but we're also selling them an image, a certain image that they want and a certain image that they want to upkeep. So if you think about it, if you're passionate about what you do, you would start thinking about a solution for each and every client that sits in your chair.